Hello and welcome to the Driving in Wyoming podcast. This is Aaron Turpin from AaronOnAutos.com. Today we're going to talk about the 2014 Chevrolet Sonic. This is a little hatchback that's in the entry-level category that I like to call shoe boxes. And these normally are nothing more than just low-cost uh, cars that will get you from A to B and they really don't do much else. In Wyoming, they don't tend to perform really well because uh, on the highway, they get blown around by the high winds, and often they don't have great traction on the ice because they're very, very lightweight. The Chevy Sonic, though, is different. This five-door LT model that I drove is kind of a rare exception to that. It's, uh, it's a little bit fun to drive. It's very peppy for its size, and it's uh, more user-friendly than I expected, and it performed very well. In fact, I didn't get any video of this car because I only had about half of a day where the weather was good, and I spent that day getting photos. The rest of the time, we were getting rain, uh, heavy rain, snow, uh, sleet, et cetera, et cetera. But I did drive it in those conditions, and it did very, very well. Um, it's a nicely set up front wheel drive car, has a very uh, long wheelbase for the car's total length. Uh, the wheels are right out on the corners. That helps a lot as well. The compact five door category is not really the most stylish on uh, <laughs> uh, category of car. It is the fastest growing in popularity though, because young and older, uh, younger people uh, just getting into and uh, into automotive, uh, buying their first new cars, and older people that are uh, downsizing uh, to save money are starting to grab up these little uh, people movers, which have been popular in Europe and Japan for a very long time. Chevrolet has had kind of a hit and miss record with this. Uh, the Sonic takes over where the sad little Aveo left off. The Aveo is uh, uh, is just a horrible car, <laughs> and uh, this one totally reverses that. Very very different car. Very nice. Um, normally driving around, the first question people would ask me is, "Yeah, but do I get blown off the freeway in the next high wind warning?" Uh, and the answer is no. Um, despite its very tiny size. The Sonic has a very road-hugging appeal and a low profile, and the wind, the wind mostly just passes over it, even coming from the side, which is normal for where I live, uh, driving across I-80 to Cheyenne. It gets 40 miles to the gallon on the highway, and that's actually pretty easy to get. Sometimes in cars, they'll, they'll claim this big highway number, and then you won't, you won't get anywhere near that. It's actually easy to do in this car. I had the six-speed manual transmission, and I would very much recommend that. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, it's also turbocharged and fairly nicely appointed in the inside considering the price point. You're looking at a $16,000 car here, uh, and it has a very, very uh, nice interior with a nice, uh, nice setup of stuff. I mean, it has you know all the things you expect to see uh, in a car today. So, you know, they didn't skimp on stuff is what I'm getting at. It's powered by a 1.4 liter uh, variable valve. It's a Good little engine, nicely turbocharged. It's only four cylinders. It's a very small uh, engine, but this is a small car, and that's plenty of engine for it. There is an automatic available, but with that, with those low RPMs, and uh, that's where the fuel economy is really coming in, and the six-speed manual makes this car fun to drive. Don't worry about it if you're not good at driving a manual or if you don't even know how, because the Sonic pretty much makes everything a no-brainer. Uh, shift travel is fairly short, so you're not going to be moving your arm a lot to, to shift those gears. The pedal push is easy, and it's not very long. And there's a little uh, there's a little plate, a little foot plate on the gr on the floor right next to where the that uh, clutch pedal is. When your foot hits that clutch pedal, you have pushed it down far enough to shift. That makes it so easy. And then on the dash. Uh, right in front of you next to the speedometer is a little indicator that will light up to say that, say that it's time to shift up or shift down. So the car basically does everything for you. All you have to do is drive, um, you know, move the gear move the gear a little bit. It's a standard H uh, gear pattern, pretty easy to use. Like I said, the process is so dumbed down that it's very hard to stall this car, uh, and it's very hard to grind the gears. So even the most novice will find it pretty easy to blast through those gears. And once you start doing that in this car, not all cars are good as uh, manual transmissions. In fact, most cars, uh, I would much prefer to have an automatic. But in this car, the manual transmission was nothing but fun. Um, it just adds a lot to the experience of driving the car. So it's, it's very much worth having it. 
Like I said, the RPMs are kept pretty low at 80 miles per hour on I-80 in sixth gear. The transmission is holding the engine at around 2,300 RPM. And that's great for fuel economy. That's where most of the fuel economy in this car comes from. The interior is a little bit bare um, if you're comparing it to much higher level cars, but in the compact uh, entry level, this car is probably as well or better fit than most others. Um, it's definitely better than like the Nissan uh, Versa. It's uh, probably equivalent to the uh, Toyota Yaris uh, in fit. It's a good, a good balance of uh, cost versus uh, what you're getting. It does over deliver on a few things. Uh, the uh, one of the things that really over delivers on is seating. The seats are way more comfortable than you're used to in this segment. Normally, they're they're either really hard or they're uh, cheap and cheap cushions. So they're very very thick cushions that you just kind of fall into, and it's like sitting on your couch, which is not good in a car. You don't want that over cush. It's a good little car. I did an interior tour so, uh, of this car earlier. You can so you can get a full idea of what it's like. On the road, what I noticed most about this car, uh, which is unusual for this segment, is that on the road, this car has a lot of pep. It really, really likes to go. The turbo, of course, being four cylinders and tiny, uh, with a tiny displacement, does not make great noises. Uh, you know, it's not a like your muscle car or whatever. Um, but, you know, it's, it's toned down enough that it's not, uh, it doesn't sound horrible either. It doesn't sound like a tin box. So putting it all together, the 2014 Chevrolet Sonic 5-door LT that I drove for a week is a great car. I drove it here in Wyoming. I put 230 miles on it. A lot of that mileage was in questionable weather. So it was surprisingly fun. It was very useful. It does very, very well, and it kept it on the ground. So very much worth considering if you're looking for an entry-level car here in Wyoming. I really did not expect to see a car in this segment that was this good from Chevrolet. So it's uh, kudos to them because they did a great job here. So that's your Driving in Wyoming podcast this week. This has been Aaron Turpin from AaronOnAutos.com. Talk to you again soon.